Sagittarius. Bold, curious, adventurous, spontaneous, athletic, constantly searching for truth. They have a, a way of getting things done. That's just some of the great qualities of Sagittarius. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about dun, 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 the dark side. Number one, Sagittarius have zero filter. Wait, let me run it back. Before you get your panties all in a wad and get upset, recognize that you are more than just your sun sign. Check it out online, please. That, that was me pointing to my computer. Just go online, beep boop 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 boop, birth chart. Check out everything else, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, they all matter, north node, uh, descendant, part of fortune, they all matter. And that's just like half of them, okay? So before you get super upset, realize you're more than just a Sagittarius, unless you have like five or more than okay maybe you're Sagittarius but then you shouldn't be disagreeing with me on this so before you get upset and type and write and comment and say things like that's not true I'm I've been Sagittarius my whole life and I've never acted like that check yourself Saggy okay make sure you know your other placements okay that being said let's do these dark sides super negative terrible sides of Sagittarius and go. They're blunt. No filter. And this can hurt. And then they'll say things like, well, it's the truth. Truth hurts. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, maybe they don't say that, but they have this thing about truth, right? These higher ideals in there, and they're constantly expanding on these things and searching for higher knowledge and truth and they go back and forth about their beliefs and things like that so if they feel the need to tell you something about yourself diarrhea mouth it's just gonna come out and there's no I'm sorry there's no like uh, don't want to hurt your feelings but because they don't care they it's like they have no idea how it looks on the outside. <laughs> but also, I feel like some of them kind of do know how it looks socially. They just really do not care. They don't care. So, harsh, blunt, really just diarrhea mouth. And then they'll be like, what? What? Did I say something wrong? Uh, they're funny. Sometimes their humor is sick though. Too funny. We gotta throw that out there. What you gotta know about Sag is there's so much Jupiter energy with Sag. This larger than life, super fun, and this spontaneous adventurous energy, right? But sometimes Jupiter is so expansive in ways that become negative. Overindulgence. Sagittarius are known for being addicts, party boys or girls, the bachelor, right? Just like Gemini's recognizes the bachelor type energy. They love social interaction. They love to be around lots of people. And so you can see how easily that can slip down, slip, slippery slope. It's a slippery slope down into the dark side when you're a Sagittarius and you want to be the center of attention and you're so fun loving and amazing and everyone thinks you're great and you're telling these jokes and <laughs> and then you get this God complex and you think you're the shit. Another reason why they think they're the shit is because they're always researching stuff and like learning about new things, thinking about new things and, and questioning beliefs and then going back further into other beliefs and going back and forth and back and forth. And so they come into a lot of knowledge within their lifetime, you know. But 
even before they do that, I mean, they really think that they're very extremely intelligent. And many of them are, you know. They've done their research, that's fine, into certain things. But uh, very loud, boisterous, I'm the shit, I'm here, party's here. That's like a Sagittarian kind of vibe I'm getting right now as I do this. So, overindulgence, party attitude, social, I'm the shit. They kind of feed off everyone else's energy when they're in that mode. So, they are very easily swayed when it comes to morals and values. This sign is one of the most... I know, you're going to be upset when I say this. One of the most likely signs in the zodiac to cheat. It is part of that bachelor en energy, um, similar to Gemini. I just got to keep saying that because they're opposites, but they're, they're really a lot of like, a, a lot of like. So they can really put too much kind of on what other people think or say. And, and they will tell you they don't give a shit about what anyone else says. And that's not true. Everyone knows it, and they'll just keep repeating it. Like, I don't care what anyone thinks about me. It's blatantly obvious they do. Everyone feeds that God complex without all of these followers or, or viewers or whatever you want to call them. Whoever's with them, you know, their best friends or whoever's around at a party. They would lose that God complex. I would think. I mean, they just like to get attention. So they'll kind of do whatever it takes in some aspects. And also, uh, as far as the positive things, it's like exactly opposite and negative when they're unevolved, right? So when they're more immature emotionally, when they're more self-centered, uh, which is a lot of the time. Sagittarius do not like commitment or obligation. And this goes down to a very finite level, like, take out the trash. No, why do I have to take out the trash every time? It's just like, and they'll argue, and they bicker, and they'll make up the dumbest arguments. <laughs> like, why are you even bickering with me about this right now? I don't know. I think it's because of their competitive nature. They are very athletic and sporty, and so the obvious negative side of that would be overly competitive. Risky when it comes to gambling. They will place some risky bets. They like competition, and so that can very easily go too far. Okay, another thing is they gossip. Mm-hmm. And they don't want anyone else to judge them, you know? It's like the, you ever see those tattoos? I know you have, with the praying hands, and it's like, only God can judge me. That's how they feel, right? To the outside world. Like, for themselves, don't judge me. But the whole time, they're judging other people. Very judgy. Very judgy. Talking about others. They like the gossip. It's something about drama with fire signs. They just can't help it. So, uh, they like to talk. They talk a lot. Speedy Gonzales sometimes. Sometimes too fast. You're like, can you slow down? Which is similar to Gemini, right? Slower than Gemini. Not as fast as Gemini. But they're more prone, I think, to this um, ADD type type feel, you know, where they're not really paying attention to all the details or they can't focus too easily on one thing. They're clumsy. And I'm talking about the negatives. Don't get all upset. I'll do a video about the positive too. Clumsy. Unorganized. Very messy. Um, fumbling. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. They mean well, but they make more of a mess, you know. They do more harm than good in many instances when they're in this unevolved, immature place. What else? Uh, yeah, I'm super rebellious. I'm not going to do it simply because you told me to do it. And they hate being told what to do. And they hate being put in a box. They want freedom. They want to have the freedom to come and go and do as they please 
which is why they get this party boy bachelor bachelorette type feel it's like they really need the space to explore so you can't cramp my style you know don't try it because <laughs> i will i will take off and i will run they run from confrontation they're escape artists being a mutable sign similar to gemini and pisces they like to escape from from confrontation uh, don't get me wrong they will sit there and argue with you but they can't uh, many times unevolved Sagittarius cannot face reality this is why also they're prone to drug addictions drinking even overindulgences when it comes to food any kind of addiction really anything to keep them busy or escape from reality and keep them from having to actually grow and do work and mature on themselves this is not every Sagittarius and this is not uh, Sagittarius all the time okay these are the negative aspects keep that in mind the more immature they can show up you know whenever but if you're more mature Sagittarius you look at these things and ha 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 I used to be like that I remember when I was five and I did all of those things so you know be nice in your comments because you know these things are true they don't like obligation I already said that they run from their problems I already said that and uh, they they just really want to do it on their own pace they don't they don't want to be told what to do so they need they do really well I'm just gonna throw this in there with being their own employer because they don't like to be on someone else's time they like to have the freedom to manage their own time and get what they need to get done at their own pace they hate being told what to do they just hate it they are rebels at heart and it's the love for exploration I think it's like let me find my own way I gotta make my own way and I don't want to do it how you do it I gotta do it how I want to do it I'm gonna take my own path the path of least resistance <laughs> which many times means they're lazy which many times means they're really taking the path of the most resistance because they're choosing not to grow anyways narcissistic selfish flaky they change their minds they'll be dead set on one belief one day and then the next day they could completely have changed their view and you're supposed to just be cool with it and they bickered and argued with you about it all day yesterday and now they're like no yeah i thought about it and uh actually i think you you may have been correct on some of those things and <laughs> now i've taken it and explored even further and now i know way more about it than you do because i'm extremely intelligent <laughs> sagittarius is so funny okay i already talked about the swaying morals right unreliable irresponsible you can't really depend on them and that goes down to the obligation even something very small like could you plan um could you plan to whatever plan the date for friday night for us uh okay <laughs> automatically i'm very uncomfortable with this they don't want to be obligated in any way it's just icky. I know exactly how they feel. Because I'm a Pisces. You know, I like to run away too. I like to escape reality too. I don't like to be told what to do and, and have to do what you say. Plus my Mars is in Sagittarius. And it's my chart ruler. So, I know how you feel, Saggy. Alright. I already said you're most likely to cheat. Sorry. Maybe not most likely. One of the more likely. Okay, you love friends, so just situations and gatherings come first. You come first. Sagittarius comes first to Sagittarius. This can cause relationship problems, drama, more of the arguing and bickering. <laughs> and uh, they can kind of be hot-headed, you know, they're a fire sign. Maybe not as bad as Aries, but they will definitely get belligerent if they're angry and then that harshness just comes out 
And then if you're in the way, you're getting it. You know what I'm saying? You're getting all that hatred. And then they'll say something like, right? It's true, but it's the truth. Similar to Aquarius in how they feel like the truth to them, what they feel is the truth, comes before feelings. So they don't really care if it hurts your feelings or how it affects you. More so the fact that it's true. That, in their mind, that gives them permission to say it. And they're stubborn. All fire signs are stubborn. But they, it gives them that fight, you know? And Sagittarius is known for, like, completing tasks or getting, you know, pushing through and really getting to the end of those goals and making it happen. All right. This uh, God complex, you know, they think they're super intelligent. And maybe they are. I don't know. But they... We're talking about the negative things, remember? Okay, so they get this like superiority thing where they may, they talk down to you. Um, they may say things like, <laughs> uh, I just really need to let you know that, you know, or like, let me, t let me teach you something. Or like, uh, like, uh, let me enlighten you on something. Or, you know, that snarky kind of shut up and let me teach you right quick. Because I know. And that, it, that will push somebody over the edge. All right, next. Absent-minded, careless. We talked about this. They put themselves first, super self-centered, un unorganized, messy, irresponsible. I've talked about all this. When depressed or angry, when depressed or angry, this is important because they'll say, I'm not depressed. I'm, my life is great. They make excuses also and they play the victim a lot, especially when it's not going their way. Like, hey, you have a deadline. It's Monday morning. Are you going to meet that deadline? And then it's like Friday afternoon, and they're like, oh shit, I forgot about my deadline. Uh, uh, well, I have this and I have that, and I can't get that, and I need help. At the very end, right? So they could be super a-hole-ish the whole way up, and like, I got this. I'm the shit. You don't have to worry about me. And then the end comes, and they're frantic, and like crying because... They didn't do what they were supposed to do. They put it off, and now they're making excuses as to why. Okay. When they're depressed or angry, this larger-than-life, fun, happy attitude, it, it just goes straight down the tubes. It's the exact opposite. And, and you can feel it. And because they don't really care who's around and, and what comes out of their mouth, they make everyone super uncomfortable. I mean, when they're upset, it's like, oh God, oh, go outside. You need a spa day. Or like, you need to, you gotta do something with that because it really causes tension with everyone who's around. You know when they're pissed off. And like I mentioned earlier, when they're angry, they can just be obnoxious, belligerent, and they wanna force you to see it their way. They want to force you to see their side of things because they think they're correct. We talked about the overindulgence. This could be food. This could be working out. This could be sex. Any addiction, literally. Substance abuse, alcohol, you name it. They're, it's like a predisposition when you have this sign, similar to Pisces. Uh, and that comes from that escaping thing, I think. And just don't want to deal with reality. It's like searching for higher truths, trying to find the bigger picture and expanding the horizon. They don't want to be confined. And so, you know, they reach for things and they look for things elsewhere. They don't want to be stuck here in reality. Escape artists to the fullest. Okay. We know they're blunt. We know that they're obnoxious sometimes. Boisterous. Rude. 
harsh. They hurt people's feelings. They don't really give a shit. And um, another thing is they really hold on to a grudge big time. So they'll hold things over your head, things that they did for you. Years later, they'll remember it. And it's like, even I forgot about that. But they know. They might have a little they might have a little diary at night where they write everything that they ever did for you. I don't know. Just saying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say impatient. Very impatient. They can be... I mean, they don't even want to give you a second to figure it out. It's like, well, well just let me do it. It's like, shit. Just give me a minute. And I think all fire signs have that impatience. Um, but let me tell you, my Mars and Sag, for sure, if things aren't going their way, I become really upset very easily and very impatient. Like, okay, I'll figure it out. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. I got it. Cool. <laughs> like, damn. Yeah, that's a thing with Sag. Okay. A weird thing is they don't want anyone in their business. Okay. They just don't like the idea of it. It's sticky. It's messy. Don't get in my shit. They like to have secrets. They want to feel safe to themselves. So they like don't, many times, they just don't let anybody in. Even if you think, even if you think you're close to a Sagittarius and you know, there's shit you don't know. They, they keep secrets. For sure. And they have all of it safe within. You can't come close, right? But here's the thing. They want to be all up in your shit. They want to ask you everything. They want to be in your personal space and, and have no boundaries when it comes to you. No personal space whatsoever. Go through all your stuff. Go through your old diary from when you were 12. But when it comes to them... Oh, no, no, no. You, you don't get to question me. You don't get to ask me shit. You don't get to ask me where I was last night. Do my own thing. Freedom. That's their war cry, right? Freedom. Leave it alone. I don't want to be obligated. Even to questions. Uh, yeah, they can have this carefree attitude, too. This is what I noticed as well. Like, oh, easy come, easy go. Uh, I know I can make anything happen for myself. Or, shit just works out for me. Like, I don't even have to try. And they do have this weird kind of luck. They are lucky. And sometimes it's like, how is this happening for you? You're so irresponsible. And you don't do shit. And it's like everything happens for you. And the and it gets annoying. <laughs> it's not really a dark side, but it can be because they can be in this energy of like, like I mentioned before, the path of least resistance. Or this kind of like laziness can take over. Where they're just like, meh. And the house is a mess. And they don't worry about anything. And, and to people like earth signs, that is very uncomfortable. It's like, how are you just going to let loose like that? You know, you're just going to throw all caution to the wind. You don't care about your job anymore. You don't care about, you know, the bills or whatever it is. They just kind of know they'll be taken care of. And a lot of times they are. Okay. Compatibility. Sag probably gets along well with Pisces because they're similar, not because they should be together. Just going to say that. Uh, Gemini, complete opposite. They might understand each other, but Gemini has so much mental energy and Sag would be way more passionate and fiery. I wouldn't do it. I'm just talking about the mutual signs. Virgo, not a chance. That doesn't seem good at all. Um, other earth signs. They may think Sag is too laid back unless Sag is in that uh, more mature, go get them, super ambitious energy, Capricorn would like that, okay? I have, I do know some Capricorn Sag couples, but Taurus may, I don't know, Taurus might be good with Sag. 
Um, and I'm trying to think. Least compatible. It's a hit or miss with fire signs. I mean, two fire signs. Because Sag might do really well with a Leo um, or an Aries, kind of, if they're on the same page. And, you know, remember we talked about the birth chart. It matters where everything is, not just your sun sign. So you got to look at that. You got to check your moon placement, their moon placement, their north node, your north node. Where are you headed? That's what north node means. I'm going to do a series on that. And so I'm thinking if you butt heads, if two fire signs butt heads, that's going to be constant. That's just going to be at each other's throats and that gets uncomfortable. You know, and when the passion's there and the fire's there and, and chemistry and sex, it might be really great. But when it comes down to real life, do we agree on things? Do we argue about things? Not so pretty. Um, Sag and Cancer might do kind of good. If Cancer can give a lot of energy to Sagittarius, which they probably could. Uh, Scorpio would be okay because they both like um, maybe hidden knowledge and deeper truths and you know digging deep for stuff but Scorpio may be way too emotional for Sag. So anyways this is my take on the dark side of Sagittarius. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.